Taylor Sheridan is both the most beloved and the most hated man among the Yellowstone fans. On the one hand, we adore him for blessing us with such an amazing show. On the other hand, we cannot stand him for ruining the empire he has created. Unfortunately, with each new update, he continues to damage Yellowstone's legacy even more, making us question what the hell he is trying to achieve with this. And as if all he has done so far against the franchise were not enough, he now spoiled the ending of a season that we have been waiting for two years. And yes, we should be angry at him. I just make movies to support my horse habit. <laughs> Do you guys remember what happened at the end of Yellowstone season five, part one? If you don't, don't worry. I remember for both of us. The episode ended with the tension between Jamie and Beth reaching a boiling point. After Jamie publicly called for John Dutton's impeachment, Beth confronted him, furious over his betrayal. She discovered that Jamie has been working with market equities to sell out the Yellowstone ranch and sees him as a direct threat to their family. Beth warned Jamie that she now has the leverage to destroy him by revealing his darkest secrets. However, Jamie flipped the script, threatening to expose the Dutton family's illegal activities, including their use of the train station to dispose of enemies, which could destroy their reputation and the ranch. The only reason I'm here is because he can't trust you. You are so toxic. Meanwhile, Case and Monica were still mourning the loss of their son but Case's vision quest from earlier in the season still loomed over their future, hinting that he might have to choose between his family and the ranch. Rip and the ranch hands embarked on a mission to move the cattle to Texas for the winter, adding another layer of separation from the Dutton family and the impending chaos back home. As you can see, we were left with a bunch of mysteries and storylines that can evolve in the highly expected second part of the new season. I mean, the final episode was so good that most of us managed to stay hyped for the new episodes for two long years. Which storyline were you most interested in until everything got spoiled for you? Let me know in the comments. Unfortunately now, with all the new updates that Sheridan has leaked, the excitement is gone since we all know what will happen at the end of season five, part two. If you missed out, according to a report from Puck, Yellowstone will move forward with Kelly Riley and Cole Hauser stepping up as the new leads, taking over from Kevin Costner. Riley and Hauser, who play fan favorite characters Beth Dutton and Rip Wheeler, were already rumored to star in the spin off The Madison. However, now they will lead the next season of Yellowstone, keeping the original series alive. Yes, you heard it right. There will be a Yellowstone season six, and Rip and Beth will most definitely be in it. Back in March 2024, Riley teased fans by saying, There are discussions, but don't believe everything you read. It's just nonsense. Then, three months later, Costner officially announced he wouldn't return for season five, part two, or any future seasons, making many of us believe the show was canceled for good. Honestly, it was officially announced at the time that Yellowstone season five, part two would be the end of Yellowstone. I even remember posts from official accounts referring to the upcoming season as the final season. Suddenly though, in the span of a couple of weeks, they changed their mind and decided to move forward with a new season. Why do you think this happened? How come Yellowstone just got saved from cancellation? Here's my theory on what went down. I think Sheridan realized he couldn't finish the story in just the 10 episodes scheduled for November, 2024. Plus, the Madison wasn't getting the fan reception he hoped for, and Paramount probably pushed him to continue Yellowstone with familiar faces. Fans were upset that the Madison didn't feature any of their favorite characters, so bringing Beth and Rip back was the only way to save the franchise, which is fine, I really like Beth and Rip and have no complaints about them leading the upcoming seasons. That being said, the main mystery regarding season five, part two, was the animosity between Jamie and Beth and who will end up winning in the end. Now that we know for sure Beth and Rip will be in season six, there is no mystery left. It is clear that Jamie will be the one who loses. Like, why would I get excited for season five, part two, if I already know what will happen in it? there is no news that Wes Bentley will reprise his role as Jamie in season six. On the contrary, almost all interviews of the actor hint at him completing his part in the franchise. Like, what's the point of having all this drama and building up the tension if no one will be discreet about the spoilers? I honestly resent Sheridan for spoiling the new season for all of us. Are you also bummed about finding out what will happen next in Yellowstone? Can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. Thankfully, there are still some mysteries that we can get excited about. For instance, we know John will die, but we don't know how will he die. For instance, we saw him in the newly released trailer for the new season, which was unexpected and kind of off-putting to be honest, since we know that Costner did not participate in the filming of the new season. Regardless though, 
One thing is certain, John will be killed off, and the details surrounding it are still mysterious. One possible scenario is political assassination. John has made a lot of enemies in both politics and business. He could be ambushed at a public event or on his ranch, with his death framed as a random act of violence. This would send Montana into chaos, with Beth and Jamie at odds on how to handle the situation and Rip going on a revenge mission. Another theory is that Jamie could play a direct or indirect role in John's death. Jamie might strike a deal with market equities or another enemy, hoping to remove John from power. But the plan could backfire, leading to John's death and a war between Jamie and Beth. The Dutton family could then spiral into internal conflict, with external forces closing in on the ranch. John could also make the ultimate sacrifice for his family, which would fit his character. He might discover a plot to destroy the ranch or harm his loved ones and decide to confront the threat head on, sacrificing himself in the process. This would leave Beth to take over the family, determined to protect her father's legacy. Lastly, John could die from natural causes, like quietly passing away in his sleep or while riding on the ranch. This would reflect the inevitability of time and the Duttons would have to deal with his absence while struggling to maintain the ranch without him. Regardless of how John dies, we know Beth will step into the leadership role, channeling her father's ruthless side to protect the ranch. Rip will likely seek justice for John's death, adding a darker and action-packed storyline. And Jamie? He could seize the chance to climb politically, possibly becoming the show's main antagonist. Even if he becomes the biggest villain of the show, though, he will most definitely be killed off at the end of the season, so that season six can have a fresh start with Beth and Rip. Are you excited for Beth and Rip's reign over Yellowstone? Let me know in the comments. If you want to stay updated on the Yellowstone universe, make sure to like and follow. Start the journey with the video you see on screen.